Hey, Lloyd. Um, obviously, you guys had a ton of success offensively in the first half. You had the the five sacks in the second half, I guess. Just, you know, what what changed from your perspective as you watched it back, um, you know, protection wise and sort of, you know, with Washington, obviously really talented front um, getting getting their pass rush going uh, after halftime. Yeah, like you said, they got a really good front. Uh, and as they got momentum in the second half, and we had to throw the ball a little bit more. Uh, they got comfortable, got to do what they wanted. You know, what they ultimately want to do is rush the passes. And, you know, they got home a few times. Uh, but, you know, the main thing, uh, most of the mistakes were on us, and we got to clean it up moving forward. There's a lot of good things to build off on, but uh, obviously not good enough in that second half. Let's go Troy, then Bilala. Go ahead, Troy. Uh, Lloyd, Lloyd, uh, Sean talked about the verbiage and getting plays in and out more quickly. Have you noticed that when you're in the huddle? Do you sense that as a problem? Or did it become a problem at certain times during the game beyond the one where you guys had to blow a timeout? Yeah, a few times, but uh, I don't think that should be a. I don't think that'll be a a huge uh, problem for us moving forward. Uh, yeah, a few times during the game, there was some problems getting that in and out of the huddles, and you know uh, that's when all of us, us as players, and you know all the coaches been on the same page, communicating, getting personnel in and out fast enough. So uh, yeah, all eleven on the field and everyone involved in the sideline. Guys have to be better, you know, when it comes to communicating in that phase. Hey, hey Lloyd, um, you guys have lost the two games by a combined three points. You've had stretches where you've been really good offensively, and then obviously struggled in other at other times in the game. I'm just wondering, kind of your mentality. Think about it as, hey, we're close here, or. or you know, how do you how do you put that together for a full sixty minutes and just kind of your your sense of where this team is offensively? Uh I think that, you know, we need to realize that uh, you know, this is the NFL and you know, the team's not just gonna roll over you know, fall down when we have a big lead like that. And then, you know, as we've learned the past few years, like every almost every game is one score you know, seven points, three points, so like it needs to be a point of emphasis. Like, we need to finish those games because uh, we've lost too many over the past really four years uh, that I've been here. So, need to hone in on that and just finish, come out second half with a sense of urgency uh, and really pretty much with a zero to zero mentality. It doesn't matter what the score is, first half. You know, we got to finish. You know, it's the league, close games every week. Uh, so, you know, best things we need to focus on. We have time for just a few more. Let's go Chris Thomason, then Zach Stevens. Chris, you are muted. All right, Zach, while well, Chris figures that out. Please okay, um, can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Thanks, Chris. Sorry about that. Yeah, Lloyd, I was just wondering what was kind of Coach Payton's message to you guys, uh, you know, after the game in terms of you guys being 0-2 now. Some of the players said, hey, nobody's going to be on our bandwagon. It's up to us, that sort of thing. Is there kind of now like an us-against-the-world type mentality, or what would you say? Yeah, I think it's, it's exactly that. Uh, and really – the message after this past game was the same as week one. Like we're in a race to improve. Uh, in the first four weeks of our season, uh, we have to you know, improve every week. So, like we did improve uh, this you know, from week one to week two, it didn't come out the, with the wins. But uh, there's things that we did well in the game. There's a lot of things we didn't do too well. So, uh, you know, the same, same, like I said, same message as week one. We need to improve, and you know, like you just said, uh, no one's gonna. Believe in us now. So, I mean, everyone's counting us out. We got a long season to go, though. We got 15 more games and a whole season ahead of us. So, when we turn this thing around, you know, we'll see who's still with us. Thanks, Chris. Let's go to Zach Stevens. 
Lloyd, thanks for talking with us. Um, it, what, what did allow you guys to get off to such a hot start offensively? Through the first three possessions, you guys had three touchdowns. Uh, the main thing, we stayed on, on schedule. Uh, we stayed on track with the opening plays that we wanted to, to run. Didn't have penalties. Didn't have many negative plays. And as you see in the second half, uh, those when those that's when the, you know those penalties and negative plays start to happen. So, uh, you know that's what every offense in the league. Um, you know when you have negative plays and penalties, you know set you back behind the chains. It's not good for an offense. So, first half we didn't do those things, and you know we we played well. So uh, that's moving forward. You know we got to focus on not hurting ourselves. Final two questions, Brandon, then Nick. Hey, hey, Lloyd, uh, you guys, 122 yards on the ground. Obviously, Russ had a, the bulk of that, and last week y'all were close to 100. But I understand game's going to play out the way it is. What do you think it'll take, though, to really get the running game going with your running backs? I think we started off good in the run game. Uh, but like I said earlier, when the momentum shifted and they began to score and we got down, you know, we got to, you know, we had to drop back and, and throw the ball a little bit, a little bit more to be. We planned on, uh, but uh, like I said before, it's just staying, you know, in front of the team. We can't, you know, hurt ourselves with penalties and um, negative plays. You know, it's hard to get the run game going when we second and fifteen, and you know, second long, third and long. Like we can't, yeah, have not much, you know, not many options but the pass. So we're hurting ourselves when it comes to, you know, continuing with the run game. Um, but yeah, that's that's really the main thing. Lloyd, um, thanks for the time. When you look at Marvin Mims, we have seen him through these first two weeks affect the game in multiple ways: <clears throat> kick returns, punt returns, running the ball, going going deep. Um, but I'm just curious, what from your perspective, maybe some of the things that we don't see on a day to day basis that have impressed you about Marvin and his rookie rookie season? Yeah, uh, you know, to me, I, I've. He's impressed me, you know, ever since he started to practice, you know, during camp. I knew that he could be a, a deep threat for us and a playmaker. And he's shown it every day. Uh he doesn't really doesn't say much. He's coming in to work and uh you know, does his job. And that's you know, that's a great thing for a rookie coming in trying to earn a spot and, you know, make his way in the league and you know, so far I got a, a ton of respect for him and high hopes for him. Uh you know, moving forward through this season and throughout his career. Um, you know, he's proved last week he, he can be a dynamic playmaker for us.